now there's clarity for two, Bitcoin and XRP. That's not a good thing. I mean, it might be good for Bitcoin and XRP, but it's the reason why we have been calling for clarity for years, even before this. Not just about uh, digital forms of physical currency. You can have programmability, you know, um, units of central bank currency with expiry dates. You could have, as I argue in my book, a potentially better and yeah, some people might see it as a darker world where the government decides that units of central bank money can be used to purchase some things, but not other things that it deems less desirable, like, say, ammunition or drugs or pornography or something of the sort. And that is very powerful in terms of the use of a CBDC. For those who don't know what CBDC is, what they want to do, and this is tied in with like Davos, World Economic Forum, all these people. They want the Fed, they want to get rid of cash. They want no cryptocurrency. And they want this to be the sole form of legal tender. And they have said this publicly at like Davos and these other places. It will allow them to prohibit, quote, undesirable purchases like fuel and ammunition. Going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it will be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity. And as an American, you know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is... Um, it is, it, it is, it's digitizing gold. Bitcoin is an international asset. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year, 6 to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we could have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now.
Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event. And now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. We all know this channel is Shadow Band. Now, guys, in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. And then also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos. But, of course, you have to do your own research. But, guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So, you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And, of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, guys, we have Bitcoin and crypto pulling back. We know CME opens tonight. It's going to move the market. And then once yields get to moving, we know it's going to move the market again. So, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which the 10-year yield was over 4%. And then took a big pullback. Yield rates were slightly up on Friday. Same thing with the dollar, guys. The dollar has plunged. And we know if the dollar stays weak, it's going to be great for markets and gold. But on Friday, the dollar was slightly up. But definitely well off its highs. Remember, it got all the way up to about 114. Now it's dropped below a dollar. Hasn't done that since last year. But guys, we know all the numbers are manipulated. And that's the reason why I show you on a daily basis. Now we have volume and crypto pulling back after, of course, the Ripple News volume went insane. And now it's pulling back and it should not surprise anyone. And then, of course, guys, we have Tether and USDC. And we have Aave Protocol activates GHO stablecoin on the Ethereum mainnet. And guys, we know stable coins are the foundation of DeFi. And then, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at 1.7 trillion. Guys, make sure you're keeping an eye on the repo because it's basically telling us exactly where the market is going along with the regular indicators. And make sure you keep an eye on Janet Yellen and that general account. And guys, we have Fed now launching this month. I know a lot of you asked me the exact date. I have not seen an exact date when it's going to launch. So I'll keep you posted. But guys, we know Fed now real-time settlement is going to change banking forever. And that's the reason why another banking crisis is looming. Remember, the banking crisis was planned 10 years ago. Remember, I proved that with the FDIC video. This is all a simulation. And we had Jay Clayton sitting right there. And then also, guys, we have Jerome in the house. And we know while Jerome Powell is speaking, they want the markets to look decent. And they always set up little distractions around it. Either they have a Biden speech or the mainstream media will push some other topic. Remember, the main focus of every American should be on the Fed. And that's the reason why the Fed stays behind the curtain, because they always worry about things that don't matter. Now, guys, we have Ron DeSantis vows to ban CBDCs in the U.S. if he's elected president. And, guys, we know this is nothing but the Hegelian dialectic. Because while he's been governor, he should have been saying, hey, I want to ban the Fed altogether. That's how you get rid of a CBDC. And we know a digital dollar is just as worse as a CBDC. Because these digital dollars are going to be able to be programmed. Telling you what, where, and when, and how to buy, and you have three to six months to spend it, or poof, it's gone. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget about Grayscale sent about $25.3 billion. Now, getting over into a little crypto news. We have Brad Garlinghouse says the SEC could be waiting years to file an appeal in a Ripple case. But remember, guys, SEC won half the case 
as far as the institutional investors. And we know that's who has the money. XRP and XLM are protocols to move money. And we know protocols like this are going to change banking forever. And that's the reason why the current banking system is over. And we know the NWO just can't go to the people and say this. We created the C word to print all this money in order to destroy this economy so we can bring in the fourth industrial revolution. Whether robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. No, they have to bring in a big distraction. And that's the reason why we hear the drums are beating even louder. Remember, guys, the internet, the web, all these pieces are connected in order to move in this digital transformation. You have Elon working on Starlinks, Neuralink, driverless cars. You have Bill Gates working on gaming, the cloud, and then sometimes he's a doctor. You have BlackRock, Vanguard to own all major assets pushing the climate agenda. So guys, you have companies, NWO puppets, that always move towards their mission. They don't have to be in the same room. They sound alike, they talk alike, because they know the agenda. And that's tokenizing all assets and taking the real world, putting it into the virtual world, so absolutely nothing is real. And that's the physical agenda. The spiritual agenda is they want the mind, body, and soul. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows. When it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, New to Cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yashua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yashua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33, Part 3. King Yashua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.